<laughs> Wait, before we wrap it up, Hashtag. one last thing because we got Jay here. Jay, I wanted mm. to hear your thoughts about the Fallout show and also the state of the games in general. Like, I mean, because Fallout show, they can also play games. Like, what would you recommend uh, they should get into? Yeah. So, Thoda, uh, Sushir and you have like very varied. Of, Sushir loves Fallout hmm. Four. He thinks it's his disco Elysium. <laughs> <laughs> and then, sorry, Fallout Sushir. Four, not in general, but <laughs> sorry, like, yeah, uh, Fallout except one particular Fallout that Jay will name. But yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. go ahead. Go on, go I mean, on, yeah, so both are okay. So I'm gonna keep it short. So overall, I really love the show. <laughs> what did Jay say in Hindi? Abhi, बहुत देर हो गया. बहुत देर गया. I mean, uh... go ahead, continue. <laughs> uh what i saying yeah i really love the show uh, i have watched it like 2.5 times already and i i've been like freezing frames looking for easter eggs and stuff i do not do that to a show unless i really love it i love how the characters are really relatable and really funny the humor is on point and uh, the story is pretty easy to follow and it's get kind of getting complex you know if it starts with the usual find your ex find your family member it kind of gets more complex uh, so i like that and i like how it ended like it uh, like put a what if we uh, question mark for the season 2 i like a lot of the, i like how it treats the source material with respect almost everything like the all the branding or the lore everything it's like you can tell that it is made by people who love the original things and even Todd said that they were like going back and forth between like consulting on his yeah, company come, uh, yeah. come to that yeah yeah Good. So I love all that shit. Uh, I want what I want change or improved in season two is like better fight choreography. Oh man! Uh, after the initial Walter Goggins shootout, everything else was like well, like very mediocre. Even the power armor things. I get that like uh, Maximus is new to the whole power armor thing, but it like looks so painful, man. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Uh, spoiler to people who haven't watched this. And next one is a bit controversial. Uh, this show follows the humor style of fallout 2 which is my favorite fallout game but i think that for the next season i would like to see like 70 to 30 uh, 70 to 30% uh, ratio between the serious stuff and the humor stuff it was like 50 50 for me this season like even the last episode which was like things were getting very serious there were still jokes I, i'm not saying that there shouldn't be jokes but i think uh, like it the pacing of the jokes were like on your face all the ho- the whole time the fallout 1 It's a very grim game. There are jokes, but it's very subtle. I don't want the show to be fully like that, but still a bit toned down as it, as things get more progressively uh, bad shit crazy. And I would like to say a bit less jokes. And I for the third season or second season, we all know that it's going to New Vegas. The third season, I would like the third season. Se- yeah, we already already gone with it. <laughs> already gone with it. Okay, yeah. Jay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I would like the show to move away from the. see this look uh, the game's locations and it's uh, confined low to something of its own right uh, usually what happens in this kind of thing that people want stuff that's on the games on the show but i think they already done a good job i think like, we should i think it's a good opportunity to see locations we won't see in the games through the show right It's, like, it's still set in LA, Boneyard area. We have all received in Fallout 1, Fallout 2. It's okay. For one season, it's fine. Like, it introduced people to the series. Great thing. Like, you know, you should see the player counts of Fallout 4. Even 3 and New Vegas. 3, which is very difficult to run on modern PCs. It's like a good player base. So, um, yeah. So, that's basically, I basically love it. I think I love it more... more than any of the stories in the recent fallouts even i like the general story more than new vegas story main main story i mean not the dlc stories so yeah it's overall pretty good better fight choreography uh, more of the humor things like you know everything will be good and some less stupid things like the brother of food of steel <laughs> forgetting to turn on their lights in their <laughs> dark maybe it's like a joke like the how storm troopers can't shoot stuff maybe it's like something like that but still Yeah, overall it's very good pacing. I love it. I will be watching it definitely. I I was waiting for this episode and like I think I mentioned it back even then before when we were talking about Fallout that I want you know Jay to talk on camera about this show because I have a vault, you know, and this is a yeah. screenshot vault okay. that I have. And the screenshot vault contains a, a, a screenshot of Jay on Twitter saying stuff <laughs> like, you know, under under a thing where it it says a torch interview where he said like oh we have uh, consulted very you know uh, deeply with the, with the team we have sent them 
you know, models and stuff and all of that, you know, 3D fights and all of that. And Jay saying, ha ha, this fucking sucks. This, <laughs> this, this, this show will fail. This, this was like one day before. And I, I was like over there. Uh, pleading i don't like, think jay let's that. have faith <laughs> <laughs> like, i i did ask one thing on emmy this post like that uh everyone has been on about that new vegas bombing thing and uh yeah they uh drop bombs on new vegas like i, I politely asked when's the yeah. timeline of this thing going on but I, i'm very positive on the show but so the messenger group mein, he's like <laughs> oh uh, yeah. yeah at least it will be better than emil's story and i'm like yep okay okay I, mean, i will take all of that and let the show launch yeah. and then one day later it's just like i have like watched it completely i, I mean i i made a post on twitter like i stand corrected the show is great I, apologize I, yeah yeah <laughs> I, I, i apologize show is great but the games <laughs> no say no say mean, good things about todd howard uh, todd man <laughs> we is let's do uh, like more of it and oblivion house all the shit i i spent like hundreds of maybe thousands i think i spent thousands of hours on skyrim and like that man is nothing short of a revolutionary but i think as the time goes on what happens to all these developers is like they become jaded right i become they get more respect not just developers they have to manage micromanage a company and stuff like that and some good designers some good business practically good businessmen or know how you know what happens is like you get more jaded that happened with tim kane and stuff he made fallout then he founded a company he didn't know how to run a company that went into the ground so Todd, I think as time when goes on, like his game, his the same philosophy maybe they stick sticking to the old roots. It's not like enough. I'd say that it's very outdated, and they may have the reasons for that. They're not changing the twenty three year old engine. I mean twenty four year old engine. I mean they may have a reason for that. Like everything is uh, all their studios, uh, the staff are very well familiar with the engine. The the it has good mod support, but still as a player when you play Starfield and it get into uh, like five second loading screen every five minutes it gets jarring and Jay, you, know, like, uh, you mentioned like emil ka writing and all i think i mm-hmm. uh, before oh, this show i didn't think too much about it because like all i had yeah. was like those especially agar mujhe mod karke khelna to fallout 4 and all so i enjoyed it quite a bit at that time but like after the show even i agree and i think now even i struggle like, to like even matter. to go back I, to fallout 4 a little bit I, I am actually playing Fallout 3 just to prove my point that the writing is fucking sucks and I'm like in 44 hours right now it's just off I mean it's you play 44 hours to prove a point that the game yeah. fucking sucks I mean, like, like it's the like, stupidest like, argument that I've heard I mean the writing not the game itself I like yeah game I like the game but you know Fallout 4 especially I think is a lot like, of fun. It, it, I have like two minds one I'm enjoying the game two yeah. is like one of sequel to one of my favorite games of all, all time and it fucking sucks so it's as a standalone game you know that like, old like, argument playing Stellar Blade oh fucking sucks I'm gay you know <laughs> makes no sense 40 hours why would he spend yeah. in that game <laughs> uh, when you turn off your brain it, it's like a fun game a fun experience but uh, when you think that is a sequel to one of your most favorite games of all time and it's like not up to par the writing is not up to par they, most of this the, the doesn't make sense everything is like that they apply that fantasy formula to the world of fallout they want sure. the brotherhood of steel to be the good knights in shining armor thing and you're going to find your fa- fucking father you just nuked the megaton uh, town and he all he has to say is like i'm very disappointed in you <laughs> i like that that should happen and the dlcs which are like re- really bad i just really sh- uh oh what you know was that the uh, operation and i can't even remember the names operation and crash and the pit are like, both, like terrible <laughs> emil used to be actually such a good writer he i think he wrote most of the brotherhood uh brotherhood storylines in uh Oblivion, one of the best features or uh, aspects of a yeah. game, and I think. Which looks like Jay, like I think the difference there is that it works a lot better in that fantasy setting. Uh, probably. Like, thoda sa maybe a little bit more black and white with those like larger than life characters. Yeah. Now, like, wo Fallout me doesn't. Yeah. And I like Sushi. I mean, like, it's. Sushi. Like, thoda mujhe lag raha hai. He's not enjoying this too much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not like the games uh, doesn't have any redeeming qualities. As a whole, I mean, yeah, I may have. uh under sold but just when i said that the only thing good to come out of 3 is for uh, new vegas yeah they they in sushi's right, right in the sense that fallout is what it is today because of bethesda like that is true for better or for worse like some people say that they would rather see the series die than become a shell <laughs> like that become fallout 76 uh-huh. but yeah that ship has long sailed <laughs> past so for which what, you uh, have played for how many hours Okay. 100 hours. Fucking, uh, fucking yes. <laughs> like I said, I mean, I enjoy it for different kind of reasons, right? 
you know when you come to the lower and shit like that when you're like shutting off your brain and you just have shooting stuff it works like fallout 4 it's a fun shooter but <laughs> everything else is bad about that game so it's like that that you can't fully forsake a game for albeit important aspects but still it's still kind of fun this is like you मुझे ये भी याद आ रहा है कि फॉल आउट फोर में ना लाइक इवन दो दी ओवरऑल राइटिंग इज नॉट मे बी द मोस्ट कंपेलिंग देवर लाइक मोमेंट्स वे यू बट लाइक आई रिमेंबर आई थिंक आई शेड एन आर्टिकल ऑफ लाइक द फाइंडिंग द मिलर्स देवर दिस फैमिली उसका सिग्नल तुम्हें मिलता है यू गो फाइंड इट्स लाइक अ रैंडम ऑर्गेनिक थिंग एंड देर आर मोमेंट्स वेरी ट्रीली शोज की लाइक दे कैन लाइक दे कैन डिलीवर दिस मोमेंट्स बट स्टार फील्ड में ना उन्होंने लाइक वो फीलिंग थोड़ा सा उल्टा कर दिया कि लाइक and maybe it's the ga- structure of the game but the faction quest yeah. is still great uh, yeah. but the organic nothing really happens in stuff for i think for i think follow 3 is really great in that there are like there are a lot of cool stuff that's like better so there's not the cool stuff <laughs> but when you get de- dive deeper into that it's like very shallow okay uh, but in starfield yeah even that is lacking i don't know yeah. why i mean i defended this game with along with you in our messenger group a lot <laughs> right even i i i, I enjoyed it but i can see ki maybe they should I mean, have made stuff like if they <laughs> as they make, make make more and more games the writing becomes weaker and weaker like this is skyrim worse than uh, like the quest and shit inferior than oblivion then comes what followed for even more worse than 76 oh my god then starfield i think it's like progressively getting worse i kid you not it's like literally a falling like a tangent or something a line or whatever you call it So yeah I mean is if it's the game is still bad I think enjoy I mean I'm most I I love a lot of bad games actually <laughs> I have defended a lot of uh, bad games but there's like some redeeming qualities but you I still won't for- defend Fallout 4 what does Fallout that say for- I am actually playing Fallout 4 as well let me tell you how many hours <laughs> I have Fallout 4 I have uh 9 sorry 90 hours right now uh, I've still com- not completed main story in this playthrough I'm just mil- building stuff you know So it has those good moments. Like I'm playing for those moments. Like when I mean, some people say that Fallout Three has great writing, I shit on them because in the, in <laughs> that's an <laughs> amazing love hate relationship you have over there. I, I know, right? <laughs> I mean, it. it, it's like I can't really disown the game, and I can't really love the game. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, on, on my, my mind, one side of my brain says that yeah, because of Bethesda, we have all this cool shit. It, it's, it's great to see you, the world you imagined in your head in fully realized three D. on the other hand you like why is this like this when this is not like the tone is completely different blah 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 but see yeah it's like you can really say like a love hate relationship i want them to do well i i give the games a chance i play fallout for 76 for 150 hours and i even bought the fallout <laughs> subscri- <laughs> subscri- <laughs> subscription for one month for uh, 1100 uh, you rupees. should be talking oh, like sushir man God. come on it's ulta ekdam waise just speaking of like all the writing and you know, all like i i've been playing new vegas and uska it matlab just replaying that like it bringing that back that memory ki it it feels so different from fallout 4 man fallout 4 me ek cheez jaise when you go into a vault na like it looks insanely good especially with these mods that i was using like allagi asar karta i was in some like ekdam avi ke military simulator wale game ke kisi underground facility it looks damn good like an abandoned thing but like in these uh, new vegas wale vaults me they're all so fucked up and wo feeling bilkul nahi aata hai fallout 4 me i think the I, problem is that bethesda like i said goes for the cool shit it's great on paper which is also fun like jay like matlab yeah, which, which is good yeah which has, has, has its merits like a little town in sorry little lamlet in polo tree cool really cool a place inhabited by children only right yeah, yeah. that's so cool and uh, in new vegas the same philosophy like they made the story first and they built everything around that is why most of the locations i think are pretty bare and i pretty like, you know the all the exterior stuff the open world Uh, locations are very dude, I hate very, some very, I hate navigating through some uh, of those cities like itta kya mujhe kahan jana hai dude fallout 3 the, what was the sewers like literally you had to go through mujhe yaad nahi raha never replayed that though. oh my that's because there is fast travel in the game otherwise you would get fully fucked up you have to go through sewers every time you want to get into dc and to get between locations you have to go through another sewers that game has more sewers than uh, a boomer shooter I'm not kidding. <laughs> so yeah, I think there's like a roasted uh, most since most people can't play Fallout 3 on their PCs right now, they are like 
put on their they have their version of follow three in their see, head see the thing the thing is that it's very simple in starfield you get on a ship to move from one planet to another in fallout <laughs> 3 in war if you want to go from one location to another you go through the loading screen but it's in the sewers so you it's very very unique like, very unique so like uh, Bethesda likes in like it's a cool shit they want you to be, feel like a very powerful very mighty the you know or do gooder Dainty shining armor stuff. When Obsidian is like, they wanted to, you know, you know I, I mean, Obsidian is like, Obsidian was like, maybe. I think uh, Pentiment I loved, uh, Outer Worlds, I fucking hate. <laughs> I think it is like, not hate, but it's very... Stop the train very, of Jay hating yeah. on stuff, okay? <laughs> very disappointing. Pull the I, I think, Jay, what yeah. you're saying, like, Vetesta likes to make cool stuff, and like, dude, that cool stuff is sometimes yeah, that, a lot that, of fun. Yeah, uh, like, it, now, I like, think you need, what they should have done was to, like, kept Obsidian mm-hmm. as, like, the second, like, alternately, like, think about, like, that. the time when, like, Battlefield and Call of Duty used to come, mm-hmm. like, back to back and they were honestly they were offering like targeting the same people but with different flavors mm. and it was fun to like, you know, with like yeah. and i think yeah. people would have like been looking at bethesda also a lot differently Can, yeah. i mean hey the bombastic stuff is fun and then obsidian comes along yeah. gets new vegas too and that is also fun yeah i I'm think do, you, yeah. Okay, yeah. Do, doing yeah. that thing i think uh, activision and treyarch had a very yeah. good run yeah. Yeah. with uh you know yeah. modern oh, that's warfare right. and uh, exactly. uh, Much you know, Black Ops. Yeah, yeah. Mm. can cannibalize Raven Software for that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm It's not saying like, Beth- like Bethesda. Nikalina. Bethesda should give like let Obsidian make side games while they work on the bigger stuff. No, I mean Bethesda can do it themselves, right? They have proved uh, that Mor- Morrowind. I mean, they have proven that in the past, like in the past sense, Morrowind, Oblivion, and even some of the side stuff is Skyrim. They can do it. I don't know. Fantasy the fantasy setting ka difference hai. like I I yeah, really think it comes. But bad. I don't know. I think compelling writing. Can, like it can apply to it. No, I what Bethesda is good at. Of course, I mean, if they can. Uh, yeah, yeah, they can. I don't know why they focus on stuff no one needs. They have a f- fully f- working uh, star sh- uh, spaceship customization thing in a game where you can't even fly, fly the spaceship. Dude, like... mainne, I, I tried out the new update. I opened the map and I was on a random planet in a random planet in a random location. It is mind yeah. blow. It is That is impressive tech. That map they made. I could not believe that I could not believe that Vethesda has made it. This is no way. This is much better than what I would have expected from a mod also. It is that good. Like, I think that mo- no modder would have, I mean, probably modders made this. Jo, jo yeah. It's very, like, I, I mean, procedurally generated map, mein, you're seeing where you are, but you're also able to see the layout of every other outpost that you can go to in the vicinity. It's- I can imagine Jay's post tomorrow. It will be... <laughs> B- Bethesda invents <laughs> maps in creation engine in 2024 and then other people he will say it as a joke but other people will be like yeah I think he's saying the right thing uh, yeah. so, trolling everywhere but oh yeah that's God. like good to hear yeah. uh, to have I mean, a person uh, with such a love hate thing dear dear I love the show I mean uh, I never thought I would love this as much as i do are next kya hoga what are your predictions yeah like are they going to new vegas on clay vagra hai what's going on yeah i don't th- i think new vegas will just be a backdrop i don't think they'll go do deep into the house in cr all the uh, is it that, that timeline cover... like wo ho chuka no, hai I mean, already yeah ho chuka i don't think ho they will go after. over the all the they will reference that very much I, th- i think they will keep it vague you know i think that's best you just reference it by passing don't like, like tot said we don't want uh, to solidify an ending right yeah tot said that Oh, yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, and, and they should focus on that. Uh, with it, instead of uh, is this way, otherwise they'll have to answer to like oh, everyone or whatever. Yeah, this happened because X happened, Y happened. They can just keep it vague, like keep it open ended, and move do your own stuff, right? Yeah, that's so. I think one set it set up all, all the uh, uh, basic prerequisites pretty good. I think from now on they can do whatever they want. So your story is actually pretty interesting. Uh, like, yeah, awesome. All right, I think it's time that we wrapped up. Yeah. Kaafi baate kar li. Yeah. Yeah, like two and a half. Abhi any last yeah, words? You were silent for a while. Follow up ke baare mein any thoughts? I I to be honest, I'm the the last person to talk about Fallout or Starfield. Starfield to main khela bhi nahi. Are you missing out? Um, all the all the loading screens. The best the loading, loading screens, man. I <laughs> well, they're not see. even that actually. I love, I, love. <laughs> I I played very less of Fallout 4. Uh, I think I was because i think at that point i was playing some other games influenced by those games and when fallout 4 i started playing it was a very different game so i couldn't get into it as much and i probably will not be able to get into that as much because you were thought of different game a very open 
it, it it spacing is very different than the other games that i have played uh, systems played, also so no like yeah. i mean uh, nah, for systems about the navi better shit It's a different kind of game. Overwhelming, overwhelming. Ah, but overwhelming. I remember Fallout Three. I played, uh, and I was overwhelmed with the fact yeah, that yeah, yeah. at that time, because I didn't play mm, ut- utna like open world games. Yeah. So at that time, it was like you have to do. Uh, you just supposed to just go out and hunt these monsters, and all of a sudden, कोई भी monster आ जाए, कुछ भी आ जाएगा, and you're fighting a boss. You don't have enough ammo, and then you're like, shit, like I did something I'm wrong. Making like, it sound yeah. like a fun so, game. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like yes, so it was like that impression, like those games' game impressions I did. So that's why I'm like the worst person. But I I enjoyed watching Fallout. I I oh, yeah? I understood like some of the references was there. So I understood some of the things that I have played for us about. So I understood. I enjoyed those things. Uh, what's up with the character? I'm forgetting its name. Maximus. Maximus. Huh? Mm-hmm. Maximus character. I didn't like him initially. Like as a character, ki ha. As a person who is seeing the character, ki ha, like hate the character in that way. His story we were saying the character, ki he's yeah. supposed to hate the character. So in that way, I was hating the character. Even the end, I still was hating the character. So that was it. But like I really liked everything uh, that the show had to give, and I'm super excited to see season two. What will happen? It's the same thing. Like I was excited for Last of Us. I'm excited for Fallout in that same way. Maybe Last of Us, I'm more connected. So I'm more excited. Fallout, I'm. I'm not going to get any Easter eggs because I don't know. But uh, like overall story structure, was up to Fallout series. So I, I really enjoyed. In terms of like Starfield, why I didn't get into it because I just, I, I again, it was very over overwhelming, and there was the so much ambitious nature of that game. There's so mm-hmm. much that you can do, and then I obviously saw the the you're leaving the planet and you're seeing the beautiful colors of loading screens, and then you get to the to the, the where you wanna go. So I was like, okay, ठीक है. And then I I guess like the over overwhelming like kind of um mm-hmm. scope of the game is what what made me like okay, I'm gonna probably. Not play this and try something else. So that's why I, prop- I don't know if I'll get get into it any, yeah, at any point. Oh yeah. Even I got overwhelmed by oh, this uh, Starfield man. There's like so many plans. I mean, it's best. You, you, I had just best focused on just one the main mission first. Ah uh-huh, ha! Right, right. It's like I think once I if I ever start the game slowly and slowly, I'd get to. But it's like at this point, there's so many games coming out now. Like that's one of those things. There's so many <laughs> games coming out. Some games are smaller. Like mm-hmm. Hellblade Two is like six hours long. But then you have like Fallout or not even Fallout. Starfield is like. Infinite, like so much more longer. You can go spend like so many hours, hundred plus hours. So like, uh, it, it takes time to even do the first mission slowly, slowly do the second mission. There's other games you can do these things to kind of quickly, 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 and then story is like in that sense. So us way me like it takes time. For example, same way I didn't play, didn't even start or go anywhere close midway of Red Dead Redemption Two because that game I need time to play that game. Similarly, it's like the same way for Starfield. I need time, which I feel like I don't get. I don't have no, to play one game. No, time needs you to play that game. Time, that man. Feel too good. Exactly. Why <laughs> point? Why point at the end? All right. I think yeah. we talked a lot. Lots of games. Some new. Some controversies. A great darkness spreads. But gaming will never die. Yep. So yeah, yes. uh, yeah. You were watching uh, Press Start to Play, India's number one podcast for gamer fiend. Joining me today, I think I'm Khud Manas Sushir. जय एन अभी एंड इफ यू हियर स्लैक वाइक कर दो सब्सक्राइब कर दो ऑलवेज हेल्प लीव ऑफ यू कॉमेंट्स वॉट यूर प्लेइंग वॉट यू थिंक हेल्पलेट को लेकर आई होप ज्यादा गालियां ना पड़े एंड आई होप की दर दर के स्कोर्स आर लाइक ऑल टेन आउट ऑफ टेन्स बट फील सी बट एनी वेज फील सी यू नेक्स्ट बाय बाय